Alright guys, so today's video is just a small update on all the calls and stuff I have. Um, just to say that uh, basically all of them are broken. Um, I've got my Zericon monster truck, the spur gate stripped on that. My uh, Thunder Tiger DT10, my um, spur gate is also stripped on that. And my Acme Conda. I kind of get it to run properly. And everything is included in this video also one thing is i appreciate every single one of you guys who have subscribed 52 people and unbelievable i'm i'm actually really surprised on the amount of views i've been getting on all my videos you can say that guys and my first ever video 106 views and that's been up for two months now and yeah i really appreciate it guys for you all supporting my channel on that um I'm going to give a shout out to Liam's RC, Liam's RC Cars, he's another channel, I'll, I'll show you his channel as well, really good kid, and uh, yeah. So guys, this is uh, Liam's RC Cars channel, he's a uh, 7 year old, and he does a, he's, uh, he's been in a couple of videos of Kevin Talbot, uh, Pat, as you might know, uh, and Claire's RCs, I think it is, or something like that. Um, yeah, he's been doing YouTube for a month now, his dad and his mum helps him out in the videos. Really guys, just go over his channel, drop a like, comment and subscribe on his channel because uh, I really do think he's doing a lot of good work and he deserves to like some subscribe and stuff. So yeah. Small update on the, update on the Acme Conda, it does run, but when accelerate to like high RPMs for and then 30 seconds after it'll try and shut off. I'll include a clip on that. So guys, this is my Acme Conda, and I'm having a bit of a problem where I start my car up, it's fine, it runs. I have a rich at the moment because I'm just starting to tune it, but I've noticed, I've noticed when I've been driving it, well, right, well, around the garden and stuff for about five minutes or something, when it's getting to operating temperature. Um, a lot of smoke starts coming from the head i don't know why someone mentioned it could be a gasket but i kind of get in because the head screws are actually stripped in there so if anyone has any ideas how to get them out so uh, i'll start it up and run around the garden see what it's like and show you the Con, the engine does run um, I had I had it running and that's how the spur gear actually stripped because the engine mount engine screws came loose and it stripped on that I'll include some clips on them <laughs> So guys, here's the spur gear, it, uh, it's a 43 teeth, tooth, so if anyone actually has a spur gear like this, before I do anything to the gearbox, just put a comment or email at ldairy100 at gmail.com, because um, it'll be great if I can get another one of these spur gears without doing anything else, but uh, yeah, unfortunately I stripped it. So hopefully I can get something else, if not, get one of these. So the only problem I'm having is trying to find a spur gear which actually goes onto this part here as it's a square where the other ones are circles. But it does have screws on if there's meant to be 
something on there to keep it on. So I'm going to open the gear box and see if I can take this part out here which goes up onto this burger here and see if I can get a replacement part which can fit on there and fit a up to date burger here where it's not got a brick on it or like a box kind of part in the centre. So guys I've removed all six screws which go into the gear box and I've removed this it took a bit of work with the uh, I think it's called the grub screw on there tight and uh, how to remove that. So got that removed now it took about 20 minutes unfortunately so I'll slowly loose this up and there's the two speed and reverse gear box which is very fascinating so guys this part actually just lifts out all of that bit so so I'll just pull it out and that is the whole start of the mechanism but I don't understand how this gear because if I look a bit further back it looks like there's some sort of block and it looks like this part here actually just threads off uh, but I don't have some sort of clamp to clamp this side down to try and thread that off so if anyone knows leave a comment in the description or just leave a comment whatever so guys I've put the uh, gearbox back together and I've literally came to the conclusion where I can't take that off at all so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is as it's got a groove on anyways where there's a gap where the box that kind of style where the burger sits on I'm thinking of just getting a file and filing that down so it's smoothing round and then fitting a up more up to the spur gear on there where uh, it will actually just sit on it and then put a nut like a a spring and a nut on like up to date one so I'll have the slipper clutch um, but I think I'm going to take it to the local hobby shop first to see what they can what he thinks or what he can do but that won't be and for another week or something because it's quite a far distance from where I live so see what we can do with that I am actually just watching a bit of Kevin Talbot Talbot I can't really pronounce his second name but Watching him at the moment, his live stream. Big fan of him. Been watching from um, almost the first year of him doing YouTube. Go and check him out. He really is a good, good YouTube. All the guys who have the uh, armors, Xboxes, and stuff. That probably his best off because I only have like the Thunder Tigers. I've got his own like, monster truck, which isn't even like a proper full brand. I have. A Acme Conda down there, and I have my NB16 116th scale buggy, and I have something else which is off my brother, which isn't really worth using because the engine and it's well, the carburetor is broken, so it's not really worth using. So, guys, we're not able to do anything with the Zero Con at the moment because I haven't got a spur gear or I haven't been to the hobby shop yet. Um, I do have my Thunder Tiger DT10 so if some guys actually don't know about this I actually have two of these um, I believe that this one the diff isn't very good at all it's kind of stripped I think and this one at the moment I've just stripped my spur gear on this so what I'm going to do with us, see if I can get this in there it is slightly stripped, it's not fully. So I'm actually stripping all my spur gears at the moment, which isn't fun. And with the Thunder Target DT10, they actually do not make them anymore. So what I have been doing, I've asking people on Facebook Marketplace and stuff to see if they have any spares I can buy off them. But I'm going to see, because I have, wait there, and this bag of goodies. I have this burger here, which is slight stripped. I don't know if it's still usable because of this. I'm guessing it's this bit here, T10. 
Antifa one down nowhere for the actual other gate to get into. So I'm going to have a look at that Thanks one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.